Modeled after the Dragonfly, Wright State University's new micro-air vehicle could change the course of future military operations. The mission is that by 2015, they would like to have a birth site of a MAV micro-air vehicle. And by 2030, they'd like to have an insect size, about the flu fly size of MAV. And so uh, because of we just ne next door to, uh, we are just next door to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, it, it, it will be natural for us to have a center to uh, help out the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to, to achieve their goal. In addition to its military applications, the micro-air vehicle can be used in civilian rescue missions, such as a mine collapse. You can actually send a micro-air vehicle inside a mine and see whether the people actually survive or not. Before you even attempt to waste a lot of money and, and dig into the hole to, to find a person, and there you can actually have a communication with the people inside and it's giving them instruction what they should do. What's even more exciting to George Huang and his team of engineers and students is how this tiny flying machine that weighs about as much as two nickels could change the future of the Dayton region. We need to create an environment that we will be able to attract the talent to come over here. And that environment is an environment that we have company, we have university, we have enough support to get to that goal. So I'm expecting that if we were successful, Dayton is going to be a Silicon Valley for the future aircraft, which is the small aircraft. For more information about the micro air vehicle, contact George Huang at 937-775-5040 or email him at george.huang at right.edu.